Well, everybody, welcome, uh, welcome to KSC. Uh, it is, uh, as it always is, uh, great to be out here. Um, you know, and, and I, I would like to thank uh, the media for uh, for putting such a good foot forward and uh, bringing the uh, the message of the space program home to the folks. Uh, you know, we count on you to deliver the message, and you've uh, just done an absolutely wonderful job. Um, you've carried on the tradition of uh, welcoming the crews out here to Florida. You know, way back since uh, way back since the Apollo days. So uh, we do appreciate uh, you, your interest, and and everything you do to, uh, like I said, take the message forward. Um, STS-135, uh, notable, significant uh, for several reasons, uh, not the least of which it's the last flight, and I don't think that comes as a surprise to anybody. Um, you know, as uh, I think I speak on behalf of the crew, uh, everyone in the astronaut office, and I'm sure everybody here at KSC, that uh, we're just trying to savor the moment. Um, as uh, you know, our children and our children's children ask us, uh, we want to be able to say, we remember when, we remember when there was a space shuttle. And uh, like I said, we're savoring every moment, trying to take it all in, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to an incredible mission. Um, of course, uh, this is a, uh, it's, it's a significant mission in addition, because usually standing next to the commander here are at least uh, oh, five or six other people. Um, of course, this is a crew of four, and uh, we got a, a busy mission, but we're going to do it with, uh, with the crew of four. We're going to do a fantastic job. All the way over to my right, uh, Sandy Magnus, she's uh, MS-1 for the mission. Uh, Sandy flew on STS-112. Uh, she graduated of University of Missouri, uh, Rolla. Uh, of course, she did a four and a half increment on the space station. So she is our uh, she's our resident expert while we're up there. Uh, she's going to be our uh, our transfer czar, our person who's uh, it, it, who takes charge of emptying and refilling the MPLM. Um, and uh, we're looking uh, we're really happy to have her on the crew and uh, looking forward to a to a great uh, MPLM evolution. To my right is uh, Doug Hurley, he's a colonel in the Marine Corps. Uh, this is Doug's second flight, flew on uh, STS-127. Uh, um, Doug is uh, all things robotic on this flight. He's uh, PDRS, he's uh, SSRMS, uh, he's going to make it all happen. And of course, he's going to cover me, uh, hopefully, most of the time while we're up there as well. Uh, to my left, Rex Walheim. Rex is uh, MS-2. He's the, uh, the flight engineer mission specialist uh, in charge of uh, keeping Doug and I uh, honest for asset and entry. Um, Rex, uh, Rex ha has a unique role in, in this flight, and he's usually the, the, the go-to EVA guy. In this case, uh, he is going to be supporting uh, the EVA in the form of an IV, or the choreographer, uh, for a, an EVA that will take place by the, the space station's crew. Uh, a graduate of uh, University of California, Berkeley. Um, we, uh, we're incredibly proud to represent uh, this, uh, the final flight. Um, you know, another common thread, common question that we get is, well, uh, you know, what, what comes after the shuttle program? Um, NASA has a big announcement, as I understand, planned for July 8th. I think it'll have something to do with what's been called to this point the heavy lift vehicle. Of course, we have our, uh, we have our commercial partners, uh, our four commercial partners that we're working with to get astronauts uh, back and forth to low Earth orbit. But I think you can be absolutely sure of one thing, and that is that uh, if you take the fact that we have been sustaining a human presence on the International Space Station for the last 10 years, that, uh, that we, uh, the international community, American astronauts, have a, a full-time presence in space, and regardless of uh, what transpires over the next several years, and we'll go with, uh, through, a, I'm sure, a few gyrations, uh, we're going to have a, a nice solid program in place uh, to go back and forth again to the space station and then uh, hopefully beyond low Earth orbit. So, uh, we look forward to having you along with us for uh, some of the events over the next few days, and uh, we'll see you back here uh, just in a short uh, week and a half or so, uh, of course, for launch, which comes up uh, pretty quickly right behind TCDT. So, again, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Really? 